Okay, today I'm going to read you a story. A boy, his bear, and and a bully. Are you ready? Yeah, I think this is a boy and his bear and a bully. A boy, his bear, and a bully. This is Scott. This is Buttons. Scott takes Buttons to school to help help him feel brave. This is Rosie and her unicorn, Your Majesty. This is Duncan. Every day, Duncan is mean to Scott. Duncan, and she had a unicorn, little unicorn on her hand. On Monday at school, Duncan called Scott. Scott no friends 17 times. Scott wanted to tell him to stop. I wish I knew how to be brave, said me too, said Rose. On Tuesday in art, Scott saw Duncan read his paintings, but didn't feel brave enough to say, I wish I knew where brave came from, said Scott. Me too, said Rose. On Wednesday in PA, buttons went missing. I don't think I can be brave without buttons, Scott told Rosie. On Tuesday, it was dress up day. Scott wondered how he was going to get some brave without buttons. He hoped his dinosaur's suit would make him brave. Dress up day was fun. Miss Miss Red were pajamas. Rosie wore her unicorn costume. Duncan wore his carrot uniform. All morning, Scott worried about buttons and finding his brave. His stomach felt worky when he and when the lunch bell rang, Scott's heart started thumping. He wondered if this was his brave bully. I think I might be feel a little brave. Scott told Rosie about it when to, when to lunch. Me too, said Rosie. Where do you get brave from? He asked Rosie. Unicorns, she said. They sat down with their lunch boxes. Duncan stood over them to looking very carrot. He, he snatched Scott's treat and snuffed it in his mouth. He started to chew. Scott fe felt something growing inside him. What this was was this what brave felt like? With very with ever every chew, the feelings grow until it tumbled down. Stop, Duncan! I don't like it. The playground went quiet. Feeling super brave, Scott said, Duncan, did you take buttons? Rosie stood stood up and in a nearly loud voice, yeah, did you? Duncan leaned right over Rosie, who grabbed your majesties and ran to tell Miss, Re Miss Red. Duncan, do you know where Button is, Buttons is? asked Miss, Miss Red. Duncan shook his head. Duncan, if you did, if you did know, 
Where where would that be? Asked Miss Ruth. In the com in the compost. Mum mum mumbled. Duncan in a small foot in his mouth both. Miss Ruth and Duncan went to the compost bin and and together they they rummaged around the scraps. At last got the buttons back. Miss Reed dun took Duncan, Scott, and Buttons into her office. Being mean is not okay, Miss Reed said to Duncan. Miss Reed then talked about kindness and friendship, but Scott was too busy listening to his insights. He felt better for finding Buttons and for finding his way. Scott took Buttons home to wash. On Friday at the lockers, Duncan gave Scott a sorry, sorry note he wrote with his mother. Thank you, said Scott. That's nice, said, no, said Rose. Will Duncan ever be my friend? asked Scott. Maybe, said Rose. If he wants to be, maybe we could show him how, said Scott, which was brave.